You're watching Paranormal Investigation After Dark. I'm Andrew. And I'm Ash. And we are the newest members of the, the Heritage, Heritage Park, Park Paranormal, Paranormal Society. Society. And obviously, you can tell we're twins. Well, we actually used to be triplets. Are you going to tell them? I have to. They should know. You see, we had a sister. And she died very tragically when she was only three days old. Her name? Annabelle. Annabelle. We believe that our sister Annabelle is our spirit guide. Thanks to our uncle, Harold Hecuba, who is one of the oldest members of the Heritage Park Paranormal Society, we have joined up and decided that tonight is the night to investigate the spooky stories that have been floating around the city of Santa Fe Springs. There have been so many of these spooky stories, spooky rumors that we just had to investigate it. Personally, Ash is the believer. Mm -hmm. She has been very sensitive to the spirits since she was very, very young. I, on the other hand, I'm a skeptic. I don't believe there's much to it. I think we can make a believer out of you, Andy. Well, here's what we've done. We have some of the newest high-tech ghost hunting tools that money can buy. So tonight, we're gonna see if the stories of Dr. Fulton are true. I'm here with Ranger Alec. And how long have you worked here? Uh, I've been working here for six years now. Six years, and I bet in those six years you've really experienced a lot of paranormal activity, haven't you? Oh yeah, it's uh, quite random when it happens, but yes. Would you tell me what you've seen? Uh, so, in our train depot, I've seen the uh, gentleman there, almost like he's waiting for the train to arrive. You know, top hat, handlebar mustache, and his suit, and you can see the top of his luggage. Uh, occasionally you'll see a woman in a white dress, and you know, she's either afar or close, but you know, they all usually tend to be friendly. Um, in here, you'll hear a lot of sounds, whether it's banging or footsteps up the staircase. In here? In here. In the bar? Yes. Wow. Uh, and then along with plenty of other stuff around the park, uh, the tank house as well, you'll hear footsteps coming up and down the stairwell. There is one, uh, and he is part of the tank house, and that is uh, Dr. Fulton. Dr. That, Fulton. Yeah, just be wary of him. Well, thank you. I was wondering if you could show us the, uh, the train depot. Yeah, yeah, we can head over there right now. So the train depot shows our steam engine train. This operated from the late 1800s to throughout the 1900s until it retired and then uh, we brought it here. Uh, it traveled from Atchison, Topeka and Santa Fe. So <laughs> pretty much marked it here. But as far as what you can find here, I mean, where we're standing, as where you would find the woman in the white dress. Here. Right here? Yeah, right on here. On this lawn? Yeah, on this lawn. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's very exciting. And then along with, you know, what we believe is the other passengers that might have been on this train. So, like I mentioned, the gentleman with the handlebar mustache. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you'll see people, but you know. The one that's always kind of often is the woman in the white dress, which, friendly, but she's usually here. Now. There have been rumors or stories about young boys who used to play on the track years ago. Yeah. Have you heard any of those stories? So uh, about a hundred years ago, it had to happen. Uh, you know, they they were used to put pennies on the track, right? And yeah. let the let the train kind of come and smash them. And unfortunately, one of the little boys didn't make it, and the uh, train struck him. So. He's still here. Uh, he's still with the train. And once in a while, you'll either see him or you'll hear his last kind of yell, per se. Maybe a, a, it's a sheer scream that you'll hear. Not a yell, but you'll hear him. And you, know. you heard it. From Ranger Alec here at Heritage Park, a young boy tragically lost his life by the tracks. And his name? was Jose.
So uh, here at the tank house, you know, uh, fortunately at its heyday too, it did catch uh, on fire twice. Wow. Um, what happened was uh, a fire started inside uh, due to a kerosene lamp and, uh, you know, kind of trapped some people up there. Uh, so what you hear today is, you know, either steps coming closer down the stairwell or steps getting further. You can actually hear the difference of whether or not the sound is getting closer or farther away. Oh yeah, you'll hear it kind of chiming through all the way down because it's a steel stairwell, so you'll hear it. Oh wow. So on the tank house here, uh, pretty much what its purpose was is, you know, it would uh, pump out the water from the natural well underneath and then that would put the water right here inside of the reservoir. Well, that's where all the water would collect. Right here? Right here, yeah. So. They'd used it for multiple reasons, whether it was cooking, showering, cleaning, and irrigating their orange rows that were here on the property. Uh, so multiple uses that they use the water here. Yeah, so part of the tank house, you know, throughout its lifetime, uh, back again in the 1800s, uh, the late 1800s to be exact, uh, there were accidents, of course, like there is everywhere. And unfortunately, the tank house has been caught ablaze twice. Today, you'll hear footsteps either going down or coming up the stairwell. And occasionally, you'll see Dr. Fulton, who, who did find the majority of this property. Dr. Fulton, the founder and sole proprietor of Fulton Springs, angry that this city was not named after him. Imagine, you could have been living in Fulton Springs. Oh, wow. I'm getting about 953 mg's right now. This is the highest that I've got. It, it's, it's up in the thousands now, 1,065 mg's. This is the highest point, the strongest level of mg's that I'm getting here at Heritage Park. This definitely tells me that not only is there a presence near, but it's right next to me. You'll notice, as I'm in the doorway, my EMF sensor is picking up a strong signal, about 450 mg's. Follow me. As I bring it into the stairwell, towards the first step, you can see it gets hotter. Could it be the spirit of Dr. Fulton? All right, so we are going to document this entire evening. So you get your camera out? Yep. Good. We're gonna make sure that you get every angle. All right. Is your camera on? Yep. Good. Mine is too, I can see you. All right, great. All right. Andy Pandy, Andy Pandy. I hate when you call me that. <laughs> the cameras are running. It's Andrew. All right? Okay, Andrew. All right. So this is our crew. Hi, crew. <laughs> All right, cool. All right. They're going to be with us the entire time. So let's go ahead and make our way th this way. So where we're heading now is the location where all the streams and all the water areas over here, if you notice, this body of water, this is the reason that the Tongva people and the European settlers came to this town because of all the open water, the streams, the lakes, the running river. Now, if you look behind us, you'll notice there's a big hut back there. Now that is called a kish. Now a kish is the handmade living space. What is that? That looks like smoke. Ash, I see smoke. Yeah, let's go. We're gonna investigate the smoke right now.
There's smoke coming from the inside of the tent. <laughs> I swore there was smoke and fire earlier. I don't see anything now. Uh, Andy? What? I just got the word smoke on my ghost app. You're getting that? Right now? Yeah. Let me see. Ash. Yeah? Do you remember when we were in high school? Yeah. This kish caught on fire. Some oh. boys were in here and yeah. they were playing, remember? Yeah. And they caught this on fire and it burned down completely. Do you, do you think they might be in here still? I don't want to find out. Let's go. We're getting out of here. We're getting out of here, let's go. So we are here investigating the old adobe ruins of the Ontiveros house. Now, it is said that their youngest daughter died of the disease of cholera. The rangers have said that they can still hear the cries of their mother as she found her dead body in the basement. Are you getting anything on your meter? I got the word understanding. Now, what you might not know is that in the late 1980s, the Whittier earthquake demolished the house. So all that is left is the fireplace and the remains of what is believed to be the basement. Let's check it out. Let's go. There. Ash, what? did you hear that? Crying. Crying. Let's get out of here. This is not a friendly nope. feeling that I'm getting. So. This is known as the barn. This is very exciting. Over here, it has a timeline. Three centuries of Santa Fe Springs. People, events that shaped the entire community. This is beautiful. Now this barn was part of the property which was owned by Eli Hawkins before it was Heritage Park. Eli Hawkins had two young children, a son and a daughter, Edward and Ava. It's believed that their spirits still walk this barn. We're gonna see if we can actually summon them. What did you bring? I brought my old childhood uh, squirrel doll, Ella. Not Ella, she's your favorite. I know, <laughs> but I think the kids will like her. Okay. Okay, we'll put it right here. Edward? Ava? Ava? We have a toy for you guys to come and play with. I'm Andy. And I'm Ash. You don't have to be afraid. We won't hurt you. We just want to play. If you're here, let us see you. Incredible. It actually worked. We made contact with Edward and Ava Hawkins, the two youngest children of Eli Hawkins. That is incredible. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let's get our stuff. Yeah. I don't want to stay here much longer. Yeah. Okay. Follow us. The next place we're here investigating is the railroad exhibit. Now, it is said that Dr. Fulton brought these railroads here to the town of what would have been his namesake. But we all know that ain't true, huh? That's right. So, I don't know if I'm getting any readings. I, I got the word shaking. Interesting. Let me get that. Do you, you hear that? I do. 
Oh my it's, gosh, it's the wigwam. The wigwam is moving. Look, look at the train. Oh my gosh. What is that? Do, do you, do you, Andy, do you see Are you getting this? Are you? Are you getting this? Look at, wait, we, we gotta, we gotta go follow her. We gotta get her. Let's go. We gotta, let's go. Oh. Is anything, are you getting anything on your meter? No. I think she, she's gone. You know what's funny is I have Ash, the same dress that... Be quiet. What? Look at it. Are you seeing this? Oh my god. Get this on camera. Is that... It's, that's her dress. But... It can't be. Look at this. Ash, I... I... I I don't want to be here anymore. No, I think it's I think it's time we leave. Let's, let's go. Let's go, guys. Come on, come on. I have to show you this. This is beautiful. So everyone, this is the Abalone Fountain. This was known as the heart of the springs. This was the highlight of Dr. Fulton's resort. If you notice, it's completely. Ash, yeah, are you hearing you. that? Uh huh. Folks. Apparently, there's a lot more to the heart of the springs than we thought. Let's, Let's get go. out of here. Come on. We just got to the windmill, and we've heard that this is probably the hottest place that we can get readings, and we even got really hot readings inside. It's true. We were inside earlier, and we got the hottest readings in the entire park. But that's probably because here at the windmill, this is the center point of what used to be Fulton Springs. Now, oh my if you gosh. look up at, what? Who is that? What are you talking about? What? Where? Ashley, Where? Where? look up there. Oh my God. What is that? What? This is my land. I founded the town of Fulton Wells. It's Dr. Fulton. This is my town. How dare you change the name to Santa Fe Springs and destroy my legacy. Until you rename the town in my honor, all who live here will be cursed. The springs will run dry and soon, soon you all shall perish. Starting with you! Oh, ah, did you hear that? It was a splash! The reservoir! Do you see anything? I don't see anything. Looks like they forgot their camera here, believing my stories.